Way uh, meeting will be called to order at 7:36. Um, at this time, the chair would like to turn the meeting over to our attorney, Anthony Savistano. I'm just providing the financial committee with a copy of the agreement that was, was uh, has been negotiated over the last several days. Between myself on behalf of the district and Attorney Collins on behalf of Mr. Alcadino. I've been in my office making several last minute changes and discussions. Um, it's been signed by Mr. Alcadino and needs to be approved and signed by this board. Um, and I don't know, do you want me to go through all the details of the terms? Yes, or? please. Okay. Uh, yes. Okay, basically, it's an agreement. It's a separation agreement and general release. And what it entails is uh, it's agreed that um, the district will continue to pay Mr. Alcadino through June 30th, 2012. He had asked for that time, claiming he needed that time to get 20 years for his retirement. The original date was sometime in May. He wasn't sure. Uh, we went back and forth. and. Again, it's your board's decision. I have consulted with Mr. Mello through the course of this. Um, the sense was for the sake of one month, it's probably not worth the legal fees that would result in a continued battle if there were one. Um, it is agreed, however, that he is agrees Im immediately upon the execution of this agreement to be on administrative leave. By law, he does have seven day right of, he has two rights of rescission under the different laws. One's a 21 day but he's waived that, and he can waive that. There's also a seven-day, which he can't waive. So he has a seven-day right of decision. I, based on my discussions with him and his lawyer, I can't imagine that that's going to happen. Um, so he is on, as a, if this board executes this agreement, he will immediately be on administrative leave. Um, so it basically be on paid administrative leave through June 30th. But he has, and it says in here on page two, in bold, from the date of the execution of this agreement until the retirement date, uh, which really should be referenced June 30th, 2000, and uh, actually that was, because we were making changes at the last minute, but it's clear the intent was June 30th, 2012. The employee shall have no authority to act in any way for or on behalf of the district, nor shall he have any authority over any of the employees of the district in any way, including but not limited to with respect to any disciplinary action. So he's, he's, here is employee in name only for purposes of pay, for the purpose of getting his 20 years. Then there's a significant, which goes on for two and a half pages, language release of claims by the employee against the district, its representatives, uh, employees, agents, etc. And we reference all the laws that were required to reference in such a release. Um, he understands that if he learns of facts Subsequent to the signing of the state, he's waiving any claims arising out of those facts as well. It's a very uh, complex and all-encompassing release. And then there was a reciprocal release from the district releasing him of any claims that the district may have against him uh, as well. And the consideration for that was him executing the release and any claims he may have against the district. It's, there's a term in here which clearly says each party bears their own responsibility for their attorney's fees. Um, we have a, an employment verification. If you turn to Exhibit A, at the end there is a, an agreed letter of reference, which is very short, and it simply states that Fire District 1, acting through its Prudential Committee, recognizes Mr. Alcadino's many years of service. The parties agree to end Mr. Alcadino's employment relationship by mutual agreement. District Fire 1 wishes Mr. Alcadino well in his future endeavors. So if you're asked for an employment reference, you are to put this on your letterhead and send it out to whoever is asking for a reference. And you limit the contact to that letter. Um, there's a non-solicitation of claims language, which means he can't go out and solicit others to pursue claims against the district as well. Uh, we put in here that he's clearly had an opportunity to review with counsel, and I can tell you his, his attorney's been in my office for almost an hour and a half going over this with him, and, you know, we're making some minor changes to the agreement. Uh, and there's a lot of legal language thereafter on the next several pages, which is standard language we typically put in our 
severance and settlement agreements. Uh, I'd be happy to answer any questions, uh, go over any further detail that the Prudential Committee may, members may have. Uh, and again, this is subject to your review and approval. I'm not the body, so I did my best in the short time I had to try to get the best agreement for this committee uh, on paper, and it's ultimately up to you to approve or reject it. Okay. Thank you. Um, at this time, I'd like to entertain a motion. Is there a motion on the floor? I have a motion to accept. I have a second. A second. Okay. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion passes unanimously at 744. Okay. So I will need each of you to, we can do it after the meeting if you want, to initial okay. the bottom of each page and sign two originals and go from there. Okay. Um, at this time, due to this agreement, I don't I see any reason to continue on with any of the correspondences uh, that we have. Okay, we do it. need to, okay. as a board, just the initials. Um, as the minutes, as the posting says, we need to discuss the search for and transition to a permanent fire chief. Um, I believe that uh, this is something that we should think about, have in post a meeting for, come back um, to. In the meantime, we need to have somebody covering this district acting as the chief. Um, well, you could just, I, I would be careful because I'm of the sorry. strong chief statute about even using the language chief. You can just say person in charge because you don't want anybody to make a claim <coughs> and be in the same situation. They're claiming they were appointed as, as a, the strong chief. And the, the new, as, as you recall, two years ago, this committee accepted the strong chief statute and then the only way to get rid of that chief is by cause, and that is a whole different standard. Okay. Um, so you can call them the te person temporarily in charge, or just be careful not to use the language chief. That would be my recommendation. Okay. So this agreement comes into effect as soon as it's signed. So essentially we have a ship without a captain. Do I have any suggestions from my board? I suggest we pro at the latest meet in a week within a week's time to make some decisions. Okay. Um, I do have a concern about going a week without any person in charge. Um, Who's next in line that could uh, step in? Temporarily, can we just have District 2 cover us? That's your authority. Now, is the authority, is that going to be like the personnel um, as far as? Um, no, this one. No, you have, you have the original? What did you say? I got one original here. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, you get this two originals, so you okay. can sign that one. I was given that one to you. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. Sign the same no, line you signed that one. Um, Well, what happens right now when the chief's not here? Mr. Judson, acting judge, correct? Chief's on vacation. Correct. You take the helm? Okay. Um, Why can't we continue with that format till we have some resolution? Um, that is an option. Okay. So we have two options now. Um, so.
can stop me showing this page. So, yeah, this is the last three agreement we need to initial each one here. Who needs it? No, it's, it's Al Codino and that one. Okay. Do you get John and you didn't get this one? No, no, no. You don't have to do the initial assignment. Okay. Thank you. Let's get back to the meeting here. We have Deputy Judson would be taking place when the chief is on vacation. Um, this is going to be probably um, a longer duration of time to actually get a nationwide search than just a week or two. Um, so in that time, we could, you know, for the next week or two, ask Deputy Judson to take over and then explore other options, all our options, now, is there any including the nationwide team? search, um, District 2. Um, so if we do that, that may be a decent... Um, I can't figure out why you want to go to District 2. We should be able to do something in-house here. Because I think by, by the um, state laws, you have to have certain criteria from the fire marshal's office to be able to run a district. I mean, I don't know. I, I just I think we should look into that first. Well, yes, Chief. You have to have uh, authorization from the fire marshal be achieved. And that's in every separate district or city right. or town. So he has no jurisdiction in this district. Right. Or nobody anybody else has. So you'd have to get that jurisdiction from the state fire department. So in theory, could the prudential law pick anyone to be the chief? They have to be qualified. By the, the by the state qualifications. By the state qualifications and the qualifications that we have on by. Okay. Okay. Um, which, in what you're saying, is just because he's qualified for District 2 wouldn't make District 2's chief qualified for District 1. Okay. Um, Because we there, there are several other things I mean to go further with this discussion. Are we going to stay with strong chief stature? Are we going to go back to which, which wasn't working out very well? We were nervous about that. Come April, we could put it to the voters and put it on the ballot. Not to, and I would not want to hire anyone before April if that was the decision of this board to possibly change out of the strong chief stature. So now you're talking long term right 
um, we met we had uh, district two in here to discuss the possibility of some type of merger some type of um, consolidation of resources this may be the opportunity to try to move in that direction you know maybe not a full-fledged merger but some type of mutual agreement between the two districts if we had an option of having full-time people there, full-time person here with one full-time chief, it may better serve the taxpayers and it may save the money in the long run. To remember that, that the last time we talked about this, that the cost for District 1 compared to the cost of District 2, I'm not sure that the, the residents in District 1 might like to assume that debt right now. No, and that's why I'm thinking somewhere in the middle. If we have one chief amongst the two districts, Keep them separate districts. Keep every just keep the district separate, but the chief would be able to reallocate manpower resources as needed. So, for instance, if my house on Rockadundy Road were to catch on fire and there was a boat coming through the bridge, and the chief knew this, he could just say, "Okay, guys, District Two will cover," it, which is simply what we have now. But yeah. there's less chance of communication issues if there's one chief for the two districts. And I'm only saying that that's an avenue we should explore. So we can explore it, but I think uh, as uh, we don't uh, even know if that would be um, District Two would Prudential Committee would allow their chief to do that. This is all. Can a, can a deputy chief that we have in house right now? I think the question would be: Can the deputy chief continue in that position till the next election? And we have the resolution from the voters. Th there is no election. The chief I mean, the position is no, no, no. The deputy chief act as a deputy chief till the issue is solved by the voters of what you brought up at the next warrant and the next was next day. There would be no. There would be no warrant. There would be no. I thought we had to put. You said strong chief to. to oh yes, if that we, issue if we did. The, um, I would be seeking to make a more permanent resolution to this prior to that. So excuse me. Are you trying to make a merger? That has to go through the voters, I presume. That that's correct. And we're not we, we don't um, my counterpart brings up a very good point that that probably would be putting the cart before the horse at this time. But if we could um, if it was a possibility to have one chief for the two districts and slowly erase the lines that's a possibility to, to that we need to explore, I feel. Would it be the, the answer? I can't tell you that at this point. <coughs> but it's definitely worth the exploration at this point. Can I ask another question? Sure. Now, uh, if I may, what was the just cause to get rid of Chief Al Cadino? Or was a, a vendetta between somebody? No, it was a mutual agreement between the chief and this board. Yeah, well, what brought it up? What I'm trying to get at, it came from your board. Was, why would you want to get rid of a chief that's been here for a number of years and on the fire department for a number of years? Did something go wrong? I'm just interested. Yes. Or is it somebody has a vendetta against the chief? They want to know. Um, go ahead. Well, there was a, a prior vote of a board that was somewhat differently constituted than this back in February that voted not to renew the agreement. And there was a dispute over whether or not he was making a claim that he was a strong chief. That was my legal advice to the board that he wasn't a strong chief because he was appointed as chief engineer prior to the adoption of strong chief statute and there was no subsequent appointment as permanent chief. And so he was served out the three years of his contract and based on that disagreement, the parties agreed to give him additional time so he could get his 20 years and retire. I he was the one that approached the chairman last week with that proposal. So we followed through with that and figured that certainly the cost of any potential litigation, if he disagreed with our position, it's the board's decision. But the thought was it's certainly six months of pay. If he included his agreement, he would have been entitled, based on my interpretation, of 90 days pay anyway. So they're paying basically an additional 90 days in an attempt to avoid any. Um, potential legal costs, and he was the one that approached the, the potential
Financial Committee members, the chairman last week before the meeting. I know I've been on here. For, I've been on here for many years. Probably more than other fellows have. Never heard of such a thing. Never. As far as merchant, I don't vote for that at all. Uh, just a point of information. Yes. He actually was appointed by the Prudential Committee uh, to a permanent chief uh, at a meeting that encompassed um, John Picado and um, Bob Metcalf. Um, as a matter of fact, we were supposed to have a meeting. I was uh, invited to the meeting to show them how, or the Prudential Committee, how it's done to uh, to um, um, interview a chief and make a decision on doing a chief. <clears throat> they decided at that meeting that they would not want to go through, they didn't want to interview the other people, and they decided that at that point that they would appoint him as a permanent chief, and it was seconded by John Tatar. So, in fact, he was appointed <coughs> chief. No, the, yeah, the, chief. the meeting that you alleged occurred, we, I went through the minutes, there were no minutes, so the dispute, <coughs> I, went, I wasn't present, I don't know, I was at council at the time. There's no minutes at that meeting, of that meeting, and that was before the adoption of the strong chief statute. So, no, subsequently exactly. they got, well, there's no minutes of any meetings to that effect. <coughs> I can tell you. Well, Based on my I was here. We looked at three. Years. Years. Well, we looked at three years of minutes, so I I can't tell you more than that. And, and at this point, it's uh, the agreement is what stands. So, um, it's we need to look forward and not back. The agreement ended. It's over. Now we look forward. In what direction do we want to take this department? Uh, what are our options? So at this time, if it's my, if I'm correct, as of now, the chief is no, authority, no authority, authority to act. Okay. There's a seven day right of decision by statute, but beyond that, they, um, he, as of this day, he has no authority to act. He's signing out of it. Okay. If he rescinds, then we're back to square one, but I don't anticipate that's going to happen. Okay. So we could meet on Wednesday the 28th. Okay. As a possibility, we can post that meeting. We can meet. I'd rather do it sooner than later. Okay. Would Wednesday the 28th meet? It's fine. It's 7 o'clock here. Wednesday and. I will post that meeting, and at least until that time, Deputy Judson will be our leader um, right now, and hope that we can discuss what we want to do for a more permanent basis, whether it's April, <coughs> if we're doing a nationwide search, if we're going to go on any other direction. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Is he placed on administrative leave as of now? Yes. Five minutes ago. Okay. Yes. Uh, in terms of ongoing business, uh, do I have the authority to speak with him in regards to issues that are Ongoing right now. How, how do we work this? You know, he's, he's, he's in all, except for paid purposes, he's in all senses removed from this board, so, uh, from this department. But do I have the authority uh, to basically speak with him in regard to issues that are uh, ongoing, in other words, inspections and uh, items of that nature? Not you, so much the fire rate per se, but ongoing business issues that may have been cleaned up. And that, that makes sense to me. Particularly with the new <laughs> trucks. We've got the new trucks sitting out here, which we still have uh, various issues going on with the tall watch. I mean, there has to be some means of me speaking with him. So I have it available. I don't have to. I guess. I 
Okay. Correct. You will need to collect the keys. You will need to collect uh, the cruiser. So that's not really what he's asking. The tr is it basically a transition period? Mr. Judge is asking there may be some inspections that the chief has looked into Correct. that you want Schedule. you're not privy to. There there are, is or issues. That, I think uh, it's necessary that, that for that. Knowledge out at this point, right. in certain respects. I mean, I have to be able to speak with him. I think that's great. I haven't come into the station. There's no prohibition to that in the agreement. That's up to the presidential committee. Yeah. I mean, it's common sense. You're going to have yeah. to. No, There's no, no obligated to. Is that correct? He's yeah. not obligated. He can tell you whatever he wants right. to tell you. Okay. Well, that's not an issue. If, for example, over the next day or two. I touch base with him to start resolving some of these issues and work through them. You know, you know that is saying? correct. Okay. That is correct. So you have uh, no, in the event that he... You have no reservations of him being in the station if I'm present? Is that what we're talking about? Um, he has seven days in the contract to remove his personal effects and turn his yeah. keys He out. can be Without here. Without supervision or with supervision, how does that work? That's it's not specified. I leave that up to the Prudential Committee. However, anything he does, any action he does from this point forward, he solely is responsible and liable for. Am I correct? Yes. Okay. So, so he can cooperate, he can he cooperate if he wants to. If he doesn't so. want to, he doesn't have to. He doesn't have to. And then we, for ourselves. you and I in this board will have to been for ourselves. My recommendation was just because you're in charge during that period of time, it's more of a practical one than anything. That you should probably be here while he's here because I don't expect that he's going to do anything. I don't know the man, uh, but it just makes sense from a transitional perspective. I always advise my clients to do that. So you're in charge, so I would suggest that you accompany him if he's in the building. I, again, I have no reason to suspect he'll do anything. Okay. Has he been made aware of this as well? No, I'll call his attorney tomorrow. Let him know that. Okay. Okay. It, 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 to those at this time, if you see that he happens to be here in the next seven days, there's no need to overreact at this time. It, it's. Okay. 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 Right. Okay. 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 We will need to discuss that at this time. At this time, you're going to act as if the chief is on vacation. <coughs> That's how we'll handle it. So. If, when he's on vacation, you, that's how you're going to treat this. Any uh, Before I leave, I'll make sure you have my contact information. And the board should make sure Deputy Jensen has their contact information in case I am not able to be reached. Now, what about the superior actions? I think we've got some people that are out on the um, I, Again, I just don't want to gave in writing and they had so many days to respond to it. We will address that at the next meeting. We will. Um, when we, uh, yeah, we'll address that at the next meeting. Is there anything time of the essence on any of those? Was there a time matter on those? I think there is. There That's is. why I'm asking. I can't give you the exact time on uh, right now. I know there is one pending uh, issue. I believe that it's scheduled. scheduled. Is that the one that's scheduled? You have a schedule. scheduled for the 28th at a certain time. I don't, I can't tell you the time off the top of my head. Okay, I, I don't have to that. okay, we're gonna keep that one scheduled, and you and one other member of this board, if it can be myself or one of the other board members. I think would probably be the most appropriate thing to. to is that is that particular complaint? And I think we're referring to the same one. Has that been referred to our other <coughs> council? If you want to put it down at this point in time, that was my understanding. Uh, one of the questions for uh, 
information has been, will be, um, if necessary, will be directed to the other council. Okay, I, I know there's a couple of issues regarding that particular situation, uh, which could cloud this up a little bit here. Uh, if you want to discuss it with me afterwards, I'll be, okay. I'll be happy to. If that's okay. the way you want to pursue it. All right, we'll do that. Any other questions from this board? Okay. Um, with that, I'd like my board to come back on the 28th, if ever, anyone can come up with some ideas. Um, and thoughts for which direction they think we should go. We'll take it from there. Okay. Meet in adjourned at 8.09. Do I have a motion? I'll make a motion. I'll second that. All in favor? Thank you. Thank you.